In this tutorial, I will show you how to prepare your iOS app for publishing in the Apple App Store. By following the steps in this tutorial, you will ensure your app meets Apple's App Store review guidelines prior to submission. Before you prepare your app in App Store Connect, you will need to complete a few steps inside your BuddyBoss app's settings. Firstly, you will need to have enabled and set up in-app purchases if you plan to sell in-app content directly in your app. If you decide to limit purchasing of your in-app content to your website's payment system, you must not display any order pages within your app. In this case, Apple may approve your app as a reader app, which is an app where users can access content bought outside of the app. However, this approval is entirely at Apple's discretion and is not guaranteed. You can learn how to set up in-app purchases in our in-app purchases tutorial. Next, if your app has social networking services or user-generated content, it must include the ability for users to report content and block other users. If you are using the BuddyBoss platform, you can use the moderation component to fulfill these requirements. You can enable this in BuddyBoss platform and then components moderation. You can learn how to set up the moderation component in our moderation tutorial. As well as set up all your apps, settings, and content, you will need to generate an iOS release app build to select when submitting your published request. To do this, go to the build page in the BuddyBoss app settings. Then click request build and request an iOS release build. Next, let's prepare your app and version inside of App Store Connect. In this tutorial, we will only go through the steps required to submit your app for review. But there are additional ways to configure your app and version inside of the App Store Connect, which may be useful for you. Now, log in to App Store Connect and open up your app. I've got mine open already. In the sidebar, click on App Information under the General section you will need to enter a name for your app in the Apple App Store, a subtitle to go under your app's name in the Apple App Store, a primary and optionally secondary category for your app, and an end user license agreement that users will agree to by downloading your app on the Apple App Store. It is recommended you use a custom EULA as using Apple standard EULA increases the chance of your app being rejected. There are many generators online for generating EU LAs. Make sure to choose one that is relevant to your app's content and the location of your business. Next, click on pricing and availability in the sidebar. You need to select a price schedule your app in the Apple App Store. If your app is free, then choose free. If you sell your app, enter a price. To sell apps in the Apple App Store, you must have a paid application agreement. How to sign this agreement is covered in our Setup iOS in-app purchases tutorial. Then click Save. Next, click on App Privacy. All apps on the Apple App Store require a privacy policy. You will need to enter a URL that links to a privacy policy for your app. Next, you will need to prepare a new version of your app inside App Store Connect. Versions of your app will show in the top left corner here. If your app is new, Apple will have automatically created for you a 1.0 version, which will be in the prepare for submission stage. If you have previously submitted a version to Apple, you will need to create a new version for the BuddyBoss publishing team to upload a build to and review. If you currently have a version in review by Apple, you will need to wait until the review is complete or cancel the submission in order to create a new version to submit through the BuddyBoss publishing service. Let's click on the version to review the information needed. You'll need to upload at least one screenshot for iPhone 6.5 inches displays and one screenshot for iPhone 5.5 inches display. Screenshots must be in JPG or PNG format and in the RGB color space. iPhone 6.5 inches display screenshots are typically used to show how your app looks on iPhones without a button. They must have a resolution of 1242 and 2688 pixels for portrait or 2688 and 1242 pixels for landscape. iPhone 5.5 inches display, iPhone 
5.5 inches display screenshots are typically used to show how your app looks on iPhones with a button. They must have a resolution of 1,125 and 2,436 pixels for portrait screenshots, or 2,436 and 1,125 pixels for landscape screenshots. Next, you'll need to complete the version information. Enter promotional text that will inform your Apple App Store visitors of any current app features without requiring an updating submission. This text will appear above your description on the Apple App Store for customers with devices running iOS 11 or later and Mac OS 10.13 or later. Enter a description of your app detailing features and functionality. Include one or more keywords that describe your app. This will make Apple App Store search results more accurate. Separate keywords with an English comma, Chinese comma, or a mix of both. Enter a URL with support information for your app and a URL with marketing information of your app. These URLs will be visible on the Apple App Store. Now, enter your app's general information. If you don't want this version to be the number specified here, you can change it to a version number you prefer. For copyright, enter the name of the person or entity that owns the exclusive rights to your app, preceded by the year the rights were obtained. For example, 2008 Acme. And then you'll need to define an age rating for your app. Click on edit and select the level of frequency that best describes your app for each content category. If you enable the made for kids option, you will need to follow the kids category requirements. Be advised, your app cannot be removed from the kids category on the app store in the future after it is published. To remove your app from the kids category, you will need to create a new app in the app store connect. Next, you'll need to enter app review information. This information will be used by Apple when they review your app. As BuddyBoss apps will almost always require sign-in to access all the content in the app, you should check the sign-in require box. Then provide a username and password for Apple to log into your BuddyBoss app. The account provider should give Apple full access to all content in your app. The credentials must be valid and active for the duration of Apple's review. You will need to provide notes to help navigate and review your app from Apple. If you wish, you can also upload attachments to help Apple with their review. Lastly, you will need to select when and how your app should be released after being approved by Apple. If you select manually release this version, you will need to manually release this app version in the App Store Connect after it has been approved by Apple. If you select automatically release this version, your app version will be automatically released to the Apple App Store after approval by Apple. If you select automatically release this version after the app review, no earlier than, your app version will be released no earlier than the date specified but only after approval by Apple. After you have entered all this information, click save at the top. Once you have completed all the steps above, you can submit your app version in the published section of the BuddyBoss app settings. The BuddyBoss publishing team will upload your build to the app version prepared and submit it to the Apple for review. When submitting your published request, you can also request that BuddyBoss review your app prior to submission to Apple. This will increase your chances of approval and respond to questions, requests, and rejections from Apple. Publishing through the BuddyBoss app settings will be covered in our publishing to Apple App Store tutorial.